It's day three of our bike tour from Prague to Vienna. We just spent the night camping at this campground here on the edge of a small river. And uh, what's going on today, Kevin? I, I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going south. Yeah, heading south, Ish. kind of towards the border of the Czech Republic and Austria. So we're getting really close to Austria. How are you feeling, Lene? Tired. Tired? Did you get some sleep last night? Yeah. Yeah. And Michael, what can we expect to see along the way? You're helping us navigate yeah, on this I trip. I think we uh, can look forward <laughs> to passing a lot of castles today. Lots of castles. Yeah, there's like three or four, I think, really on this route. Time. Yeah. So, all right, that's the plan. Day three, head south towards the border of the Czech Republic and Austria. Here we go. So it's our third day of cycling here in the Czech Republic and I've been to the Czech Republic twice before but this will definitely be my longest trip in the country during the summer months. I was here during the winter before and it was fantastic even in the winter but summertime is even better for bicycle touring. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to come to the Czech Republic is because I don't think a lot of Westerners think of coming here and I think the Czech Republic is an amazing place and a lot of people don't consider it for their own holidays or bicycle touring holidays and I think that's a shame because this country has a lot to offer and I think one of the reasons people don't come here very often is because the Czech Republic is a part of Eastern Europe and for some reason Westerners don't venture into Eastern Europe all that often. But that's a shame as well because I believe Eastern Europe is actually uh, one of the best places in the world for bicycle touring. And I'm hoping to show that to you in these videos. I think you can see already that the Czech Republic is a really nice place to go cycling. I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just a place to consider. I hope after watching my videos here, you will consider the Czech Republic for one of your future bicycle touring adventures. Here comes Kevin and Lene. Kevin's coffee break, it's a little after 11.30. Time for Kevin's coffee, here he comes. Oh, he spotted the restaurant. His keen coffee eye knows where the coffee is. Kevin's coffee break. Out of the wind. <laughs> be nice. What's the theme song? We need like a theme song for Kevin's coffee break. It's Kevin's coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might be able to think of something else. <laughs> yeah, the, like the roads are, are like 
a lot better in, in Norrbotten where Luleå is than in Western Botten. So as soon as you hit the border, it's like crappy roads in Western Botten and like really good roads. Really good ones. Yeah. Yeah. So we stopped for lunch back there, had our little lunch break, and now we're back on the road, heading south. We're getting close to the border of the Czech Republic and Austria now. <laughs> so here we are back in Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like Sweden at least. A lot of moss and pine trees. And blueberries and yeah. Not really ripe yet, but a few weeks. We got a few more kilometers, maybe three more kilometers, until we reach the next town. We're all pretty tired. We've gone over 65 kilometers now, getting approaching 70 kilometers. And it's a Saturday, around five o'clock, just before five o'clock. We're a little worried that the supermarkets are gonna be closed. We aren't sure if they're gonna be open once we get into town. So, we're a little worried about that because none of us have any food. If for some reason we get into town we find that the supermarket is closed, we might have to eat at a restaurant or something tonight. We don't know what's in this town, whether there's going to be a bunch of stores or absolutely nothing at all. That's part of the adventure of bike touring sometimes. So we, we made it to the center of town and the supermarket is closed. There are some restaurants open. There's, there's over there. Oh yeah. Mini market. Okay. Yeah. There's a mini market behind us this direction. You think they have an open vegetarian restaurant here, Kevin? I said across the road. Yeah, it's a, some sort of mini market. I'm not gonna put money on the vegetarian restaurant. Yeah. Just a hunch. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what. 
Well, I think that way. Okay. So we go there. Yeah. Nice little center. How'd you do in the store there, Kevin? Oh, I did all right. What did you get? All right. Oh, I got too much. I got masses of everything. <laughs> For tonight and tomorrow, or? Oh, well, there's a bit of a threat that there might be a lot of, might not be a lot of food tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. I know. I didn't. I was just thinking breakfast and dinner, but there might not be anything tomorrow. Yeah. So. So maybe we should. Just being kind of crazy cautious. Probably don't need to be. Anyway, yeah. I've got enough food to feed an army. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I saw people with this. So we stopped and got food at the little market there, and now we're cycling about four kilometers outside of town to a nearby campground. The last couple hundred meters to the campground takes us through this little forest. We're hoping the campground is open. You never know. I see some people out here. This looks promising. It's just big, empty fields, lots of space. There's quite a few people here, but this campground is huge. There's Kevin. You know, it's way ahead of me, like taking out <laughs> the electricity boxes. <laughs> there are some? Yeah, but we have to test it. for adults and how much did we just pay for camping Kevin uh, we paid um, about eight dollars for the lot of us eight dollars so two dollars each that includes the shower and that includes the shower Kevin doesn't waste any time gets here starts setting up camp how do you feel today went um, today was yeah. Today was good. It was better than little or less hilly. And yesterday, it was long. Oh, I've had enough today. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was good. We did seventy something, didn't we? Yep, just over seventy. Just over seventy with a fair number of sharpish hills. So it's just enough to keep us remembering what it was like yesterday. <laughs> and now we're in a campsite at very reasonable cost. Nice spot on the ski run here. And a lake nearby. Lake yeah. nearby, just down there. Nice little campground. Shower over there. I just got home. I might find some beer too. If there's some beer, I feel quite parched. But yeah, no, it was a good day. Good day. Cool. Beautiful countryside. Okay. Some nice flat areas. Beautiful forest. We saw a lot of forest today. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, the forest was really nice. Cool. Green. As you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much textbook forest. <laughs> Green, brown. <laughs> yeah. Like we spread out, like, don't want to be close to you, Darren. <laughs> well, I figured you guys just didn't want to be close to me because I oh. snored a lot last night. Yeah. Talking in your sleep. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, my name is Linne Gamli and I'm from Sweden. I live in Örebro and I'm 21 years old. I like painting and doing things in ceramics. And uh, I like doing stuff outdoors like cycling or hiking. And I also like sports, but I'm not doing any sports right now. And I've, I've known you for a year now. And you've done quite a bit of traveling in that time. Mm. We did our bike trip together. You went to Thailand. Mm. Yeah, you I did volunteered the in Thailand. Yeah. And then I volunteered with uh, rescued wildlife and elephants. Mm. So that was really nice. And you got to like learn stuff about the animals too. Like I had no idea how much elephants were abused in tourism and, and entertainment so it was nice being able to help you seem kind of spontaneous to me yeah that's the most fun way to travel <laughs> as long as it so far i have maybe have had luck because it's always been fun but i guess you're taking more risks if you're spontaneous because it might not go as good as planned mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Cool. What is it about the bike touring that you like? Mm, I think mostly just the challenge. Yeah. The challenge. Has this been yeah. a challenge? Yeah, almost a bit too much of a challenge. <laughs> the first two... Yeah, this is the third day. Third day, yeah. Yeah. The first two days, they honestly, they were not even fun. They were too much. And yeah, I was so tired and too tired. This day has been a lot better though. Okay. So yeah, it was those hills and this heat and no, <laughs> it doesn't work. But yeah, it will be fun afterwards. Right. That's what, also what I like. If I think something is terrible and I hate it, sometimes when I feel like that, I like it afterwards. So this, I will be happy I did it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This trip is definitely harder than the Sweden trip we did last summer. Yeah, a lot summer. harder. So many hills. Oh my god! <laughs> like when you think you're done with one hill, and there's like a curve, and then there's oh no, it continues, and continues. Yeah. Yeah, bike touring is largely mental. I think there's the yeah. physical part and the mental part, mm. and the. Conquering those hills sometimes, yeah. it's just mental. Yeah. Hmm. So, anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. Okay. And then, like two hours later, finish with lunch, started making dinner, the bell again, and... <laughs> What do you guys think of the show? <laughs> Just started. Did you see anything? Yep. I got it on video. Oh, you were out quickly. I knew those people would be loud over there. <laughs> I think it was probably those uh, guys with the party tents. Yes, definitely. And the, like the five cars? Yep. I knew it in an instant. <laughs>